Hey friends, let's study now a uh, series circuit. A uh, series circuit generally means connecting along a line or in a row or in an order. In electronics, series resistance means that the resistance resistors are connected one after the other and that is and that there is only one path for current to flow through it. So a series circuit is a circuit where you connect several resistances in series and you can see and uh, the head of the resistance is connected to the tail of another resistance and you can see there is a only one path to flow of current so current in the circuit will remain the same in all the resistors the same current will flow because all uh, resistors are connected in series whereas A series generally means connected uh, along a line or in a law. So law of series circuits are individual resistances add up to the total resistance. So it means resistances in a series will be add up. So for example, if R1 is equal to 1 ohm and R2 is equal to 1 ohm and R3 is equal to 1 ohm. So the total resistance will be equal to 3 ohms. Current through the circuit is same at every point. Individual voltage throughout the circuit add up to the total voltages. So now let's uh, see how it's working on and let's draw a circuit. So let's draw here a series circuit. So I'm drawing an, a voltage source here basically. First of all, this is an a voltage source. Let's draw a series circuit here. I will draw resistance 1, resistance 2, and resistance 3. So we have R1, we have R2. We have R3, three resistances. Let's uh, see the apply voltage here is 100 volts. Let's assume apply voltage are 100 volts. Now here you can see all three resistances are connected in series and only there is one close path here. So the first thing is current can only flow in a closed path current cannot flow in an open circuit so there is one closed path there uh, there, there are how many closed paths if they in the circuit they have two closed paths and both are connected to the voltages the current will flow in both circuits so if there is one closed path so one current will flow so the current here is equal to i and resistance are R1, R2, R3. You can see the current I1, I is entering the R1 and leaving the R2, then entering into R2 and then entering into R3. So the current will remain same in all three resistances. And just if just see this resistance of this resistor is 1 ohm, 1 ohm, and the resistance of this is 8 ohms, for example. Okay, so 1 ohm, 1 ohm, and 8 ohms. So, as we have uh, told you that total resistance in series is add up. So, R total will be equal to R1 plus R2. plus R3 okay then we can see if you add up all these three distances RT equal to 10 ohms okay and by ohms law we know that I is equal to 
V over R. V over R. So here V is equal to 100, R is equal to 10. So I will be equal to 10 amperes. Okay, so this is basically the R. Now, if you see there are three resistances, so let's see how much will the voltage across the resistance R1, then resistance R1 and R2 and then R3. So let's calculate the voltage drop across R1. So V is equal to IR. V is equal to IR by Ohm's law. I is equal to 10. Okay, and R is equal to 1. So the voltage drop across the resistance R1 will be equal to 10 volts. So if you connect a voltmeter and you will try to measure the voltage across resistance R1, it will be equal to 10 volts. And if you want in the same way, if you do the calculations, then you will get the value of voltage across resistor 2, I is equal to 10 and, and then R is again the 1. Here the voltage across resistance 2 will be also 10 volts. Finally, this is voltage across the resistance R3 is equal to I which is 10 into 8. So voltage is equal to 80 volts. It will be equal to 80 volts. So we have calculated the voltage drops. Uh, one thing then that uh, you can find out here that we have three resistors and the resistor which have the highest value it has the highest voltage drop across it and the resistor that has the lowest value it has the lowest voltage drop across it and if you are doing solving this question in an exam if you want to cross check that your values are correct what you can do you can see you can calculate that VT V total or V source is equal to just cross check your answer by adding all the voltages in series V1 plus V2 it should be equal to plus V3 so the so total voltage or the source voltage across which the resistors are connected should equal to when you sum up your values uh, V1, V2, V3 should be equal so this is a good example of cross-checking uh, cross the answers and this is basically the concept of C circuit. Thank you very much.